everyone, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Are you ready to make this adorable statement earring? We will be designing this earring with the newest Softflex Company Design Kit, Sunset Slender. And I will leave a link down below in the description for the unboxing of that kit, as well as all other tutorials using that design kit. So all items are from the kit. I'm using the Garnet Softflex wire. And you can buy this separately on softflexcompany.com. I'm using some beads from the exclusive Jesse James Bead Mix. And if any of these items are still available, I will also leave a link down below in the description. You'll need one two by two, an ear finding. This beaded cluster was in the um, Jesse James Bead Mix, as well as these little gold sparkle beads, and then four of the little pinch beads. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps my little channel grow. Let's start creating. So we're going to start by cutting 10 inches of our soft flex wire in the garnet. This is our earring. It's kind of on the large side, but it's very lightly. And if the bead mix and this design kit does sell out, I do have a tutorial on my YouTube channel of how to make a similar beaded cluster. So I will leave a link down below in the description for that as well. We're just gonna slide on our bead cluster to the middle of our soft flex wire. Just gonna slide that to the middle of our wire. We're gonna use two of these little beads here, the red, and they're like a little um, six millimeter, maybe a five millimeter, kind of like a slightly twisted uh, bead. So we're gonna slide those on, one on each side. Then our gold sparkle beads. We have to have sparkle on our earring. And then two more of our little red beads. This is our pattern. Now we're gonna take an orange bead. We're gonna slide it on one side, it doesn't matter which one. We're gonna take the other side of soft flex wire and crisscross the opposite direction. So it's gonna make a little X and we're gonna slide it down. And you could probably use about eight inches of soft flex wire. I think I cut too much off, um, but I'll always save it for another project. And what's nice too about the soft flex wire with this little bead cluster is you can see it through the bead. So that just kind of adds into the design as well. We're going to take our little pinch beads and we're going to add two on each side of our wire. I think this would be really pretty um, if we had more of these to just kind of dangle them from a necklace. It's kind of make a really big and bold statement necklace, but they'd be lightweight. So we're gonna slide two more beads on the other side. That's what it'll look like. Then we're gonna slide on our two by two. And then we're gonna crisscross, just like we did with the orange bead. And we're gonna give it a pull. Make sure everything is nice and secure. So we have our pattern. Now it doesn't matter which side of soft flex wire. We're gonna take one and loop it back through our two by two. And this is going to create our little loop. Now we're gonna take our other earring and compare our loop sizes. Now we're going to take our pliers and give it a little smosh. And usually with my pliers, I'll come back around and round the two by two. It just gives it a more professional finish. But with this project, it's okay to just flatten it. Now we have our tails, so we're just going to go and trim those. We're just going to trim our tail and make sure that we don't trim our little loop we just created. So we have our beautiful earring. Now we're just gonna take our round nose pliers and our ear wire and attach it onto our loop. And we're just gonna give it a close. And 
And don't worry if it curls a little bit, it'll straighten out. And we have beautiful Softlex Company Design Kit Sunset Splendor Earrings. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps my little channel grow. 